Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and last week I did a video on four non-wheat flours. I'll link to that right up here. One of those flours was hazelnut flour. And of course, the moment I mentioned hazelnut flour, the comments started flowing in saying, Steve, you gotta make a Nutella chaffle. So in this video, we're gonna make a Nutella chaffle. Now, I didn't really think about how I pronounced it. Is it Nutella or is it Nutella? I would think if there were two T's in it, I would pronounce it Nutella. Since there's only one, I'd pronounce it Nutella. But I'm sure there are some of you that have very strong opinions out there. If you know which one it is actually called and have proof, let me know down in the comments. I suppose in Spanish it would be like Nutella. I don't know. I'll probably pronounce it a couple of different ways over the course of this video just because I'm not thinking. Now, if you've ever tried to make a Keto Nutella, it probably didn't turn out an awful lot like real Nutella. And the reason for that is the number one ingredient in Nutella is sugar. The number two ingredient is palm oil. It's not till you actually get to the third ingredient that it's hazelnuts. Our chaffles here are definitely gonna be chocolatey. They're definitely gonna have that hazelnut flavor. But I found in doing a couple of different trials on this recipe that to really bring the sweet, you're gonna need bocha sweet. I realize that Bocha Sweet is the most expensive non-sugar sweetener out there. It's also the best tasting. And since I don't do a whole lot of sweet recipes, when I do them, I want to make sure that I'm using something that brings the sweet. Hence, Bocha Sweet. Also, as I'm making this chaffle, there are a couple of ingredients that I think really add to the flavor and amp up the chocolate and amp up the sweetness. They are optional if you don't want quite that power of sweet and chocolate in your chaffle. But I'll mention those as we're making them, which we're gonna do right now. For this recipe, I like to use one of these little Cuisinart mini food processors. It's not necessary, but I find it does really help give me a finer texture to both my hazelnut flour and my bocha sweet. Starting with the hazelnut flour, we have three tablespoons or 22 grams. Unsweetened cocoa powder, two tablespoons or 15 grams. Bocha sweet, two tablespoons, that's 27 grams. One quarter teaspoon of instant coffee. This is optional, but it does amp up the chocolate flavor. It doesn't taste like coffee, amps up the chocolate. One quarter teaspoon baking powder. And a pinch of salt. We'll process our dry ingredients. Five pulses should be plenty. Then we'll add our moist ingredients. One large egg. Two tablespoons of cream cheese. That would be one ounce or 30 grams. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And optionally, if you really want to amp up that chocolate and sweetness, you can add a quarter teaspoon of liquid stevia chocolate flavor. Then we'll process this until smooth, scraping down the sides if necessary. Now this is gonna yield a little more than three chaffles, so you don't need to be especially meticulous about getting all the batter off your blade. And then we'll set this aside while we get our Dash Mini Waffle Makers going. This batter does have a tendency to overflow, so you need to be careful not to overfill your waffle maker. Kinda of add slowly, let it spread out. So as you can see, it's not quite full, that's actually pretty much perfect. I find that sweet chaffles take about a minute less to cook than savory, and it's been about three minutes, so let's take a look. Looking good, looking good. A Little bit of overfill there, not a whole lot. These tend to be pretty delicate when they first come out of the waffle maker. Off to a cooling rack. Get our third one going. You 
you're still going to have some residual batter left, but not enough to make another chaffle. Now, I was hoping that my daughter Courtney would be here because she absolutely loves Nutella. But I'm not sure where she wandered off to, so I guess the taste test is all going to be me. Mm. The texture is very cake-like. I think if you wanted to have it be even a little bit more moist, you could add like a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream to this recipe. I find the flavor on this to be very, very balanced. You taste the hazelnut, you taste the chocolate, you get some sweet, but none of them really overpowers any of the others. Very, very nice balance. I feel like I would be somewhat remiss if I didn't put a little whipped cream on one of these bites. Whoa! Oh. Hmm. Winner. That is so good. So just as I was wrapping up the video, I heard Courtney pull up and I asked her, would you like to try out the Nutella chaffle? I sure would. So I'm actually gonna break off a piece for you. Uh, instead of giving you a whole waffle, I'm just gonna give you like a half because I still need to make my little picture for Instagram and okay. the thumbnail. Now yesterday, when I made these, I made them with the confectioner's swerve. Okay. Today, I used bocha sweet. You felt they weren't quite sweet enough yesterday. Mm hmm Sweeter. Really get the hazelnut Nutella with the hazelnut flour. You yeah. just use the flour. Yep. Mm hmm You get the Nutella from it. Good. Can I interest you in a squirt of Ready Whip? Yes. Two, please. Okay. Wait till you taste this. Whipped cream makes everything better. Pretty much. You can't eat that though, can you? Yeah, I can. It's well, I think there's like maybe a little sugar in here. Oh, there's sugar in there. Oh, less than one gram mm. in two tablespoons. So I hardly had any. We're okay. Just a <laughs> tiny, dirty keto. Okay. It's very good. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. These Nutella chaffles roll in at three net grams of carbs a piece. I will include a link down below in the description to the printable recipe with all of the macros, as well as links to any of the specialty ingredients that I used. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber already, hit that subscribe button. As far as notifications go, who knows? But it seems like YouTube isn't doing a real bang up job with notifications lately. So just make sure you tune in on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Pretty much always have a video at 7 a.m. Central Time. And lastly, if you'd like to help contribute to the success of the Serious Keto Test Kitchen, click that join button and see what memberships are all about. Thanks for watching.